The brilliant minds of the startup nation are advancing science and medicine at lightning speed. Israeli scientists at Tel Aviv University and a biotech company called Matraself made world headlines qualifying for clinical trials with the goal of making paralyzed patients walk again, all by growing new spinal tissue from the patient's own body. And at Hadassah N. Karim Hospital in Jerusalem, a doctor who made Aliyah from the U.S. is lending his expertise in advancing radiology treatments for rare cancers. Making Aliyah definitely has its challenges and, you know, coming into a new workplace for a new language, new system, new culture. But, you know, being here and being part of what's going on in Israel to me kind of beats all those challenges and makes it totally worth it. Dr. Philip Blumenfeld made Aliyah four years ago and is a radiation oncologist and the director of Advanced Radiotherapy. Me as a physician, being in the startup nation, working with all these new technologies has really helped me move forward in my career and get to places I didn't really think were possible. It's a wonderful gift to the state of Israel that so many American physicians and nurses are coming here. First of all, we have a doctor shortage. We have a nurse's shortage. We here at Hadassah Medical Center are a very good fit for, for those, those doctors who want to do advanced medicine and particularly research. These things called MLCs, these are little blocks that we can move very, very fast. When I got here in 2020, there was this amazing machine, brand new machine that was, we were the first in Israel to get it. It's called the Ethos machine. What this machine actually allows us to do is adapt the radiation treatment daily to the patient's anatomy of the today. So that is a, a really a new field in radiation oncology and we've been on the forefront on that. We've showed that potentially using this very advanced machine, we can reduce side effects of the treatment and, and get to better, better outcomes. So why did Dr. Blumenfeld leave a lucrative private practice in Chicago behind and making Aliyah with his family to a country with socialized medicine? Even in Chicago, I remember several cases that patients were turned away because they didn't have the right insurance. And that's really sad to me. Nobody gets turned away. You can be Jewish, uh, Arab, Muslim, Christian. Everybody gets the same medical care here. And it doesn't matter if you have a pre-existing condition. So many insurance companies won't take you, but here they, we take everybody. Yaakov, the treatment went great. You did great. You were really, you didn't move, and it was perfect. And for Yaakov, who made Aliyah from New York, getting cancer treatment in Israel is proving to be a lifesaver in more ways than one. Once I got here, you know, socialized medicine was new to me. You know, you go for an MRI, you go for a CT, you need this test, that test. I felt it was very, very um, pleasant and smooth. Um, that additional worry about, oh my gosh, you know, $50,000, like, you know, or the co-pays and co-insurance and you know, all of that. Nothing to worry about. You, know, you join the Kupa. Now the imaging's looking good. That necessarily wouldn't happen in the United States because you have to have the authorization of the insurance company to go ahead and treat. Very likely they would say, well, no, according to our guidelines, he doesn't fit. You wonder what kind of care is somebody going to give you when you're when you, they hear you're in fourth stage cancer. You come here and you have a doctor like Dr. Blumenfeld, and I'm not saying it because he's standing over there, but really like he told us from the beginning, we're going to keep you alive until we find a cure for this very rare cancer that my husband has. Like, it's amazing. I mean, I know that radiation works for you. And the care goes beyond professional. It's also on a personal level. They routinely give out their cell phone numbers and people use them and call them. I can just tell you that, that one of my sons is a, is a doctor, a doctor here at Hadassah, and when we were babysitting uh, with him at, at a ski lift in France, he was actually taking calls for his patients on the top of the ski lift. And that's, he's not the only one, and that's, that's the way it is in Israel. I'll just give one vignette that the first time I was at a doctor and I was diagnosed and the doctor picked up the phone. It was in the middle of my, when I found out that I had cancer, which was a devastating piece of information for me. Um, the doctor picked up the phone in the middle of my meeting with him 
my initial reaction was, wow, what a chutzpah. A doctor interrupting my visit to answer some other patient when I was on the receiving end of it. I just felt it was so warm and caring. Thank you.